All right, this is a quick video, um, 2012 Dodge Durango 3.6 liter. Customer says they started it, they heard a whining noise when they started it and uh, drove it along and the next time they tried to start it, it wouldn't start, no crank. So um, we checked it, power and ground uh, to the starter, good signal to the starter, but no crank. So you can see that this Bendix drive gear and the starter, starter drive gear is uh, loose. It doesn't retract all the way compared to this brand new starter. This one's all the way back. This one you can see won't go back any further. And it's loose. So if you shake it, that gear actually just moves around in there. Anyway, it's a bad starter. The Bendix drive failed. And I'm going to show you how uh, I change it. Okay, from what you can see, it looks impossible to get that starter out of there without having to take the motor mount off. That's the engine mount there. There's a the starter. There's the bell housing. But I'm going to show you that you can get it out without removing the engine mount. All right, this right here is a sh this right here is a shield for the engine mount. You take the two bolts off of that to take the shield off. This is another shield for the wire harness for the starter. Right here, you just bend that up a little bit. I already have the bolts and the cable out of the way. This is the tricky part. This is where it seems like it's impossible, but it won't come out. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. There you go. It comes right out. 